You see, I try so hard to stay in my lane, be in my lane, and then not involve myself with um, s other people's drama, you know. And, and sometimes even when my name is involved in drama, I just, you know, skip it. Um, that's to say that, uh, I mean, I have an opinion, but I don't have to have an opinion on everything. And uh, even when I do, I don't have to voice it out. It's unnecessary. You know, especially when it's about other people's lives. Now, I have noticed that every time we come out to fight for a cause, attentions are divided. Fight break out. People, emotions are flying and um, it turns into a war, you know, against celebrities or against turning against each other. That's not the purpose and that's not the goal. We have seen this play out before, especially in a... This is just to bring our attention back. Forget the fact that I was talking slowly and calmly. That's because I didn't want to pass offensive to anybody who is grieving or who feels the pain of what you have said. I just respect people's feelings. So don't think I'm here scared about Kemi or give a fuck about her. No. I'm just here to say, please... Let's read and redirect this energy towards justice. I am passionate about this because I know that the family, the cousin of Sylvester reached out to me and I started this movement. So that's why I am pleading. I am not in Lagos. You all are in Lagos representing everybody who is fighting. So once you're fighting and shifting attention i think what i'm trying to say is we fighting ourselves over the fact that someone said something wrong about the little boy that we're trying to get justice for has overtaken the right for justice for sylvester and we all need to go back and refocus we can do this fight later but well, let's refocus sylvester's parents are watching People are watching, the world is watching. Sylvester, most especially, is looking down at us from heaven. And he wants justice, not for us to fight. Please. I know, I know, it hurts. Just ignore her and just ignore her. Okay? Ignore her. Do not let somebody put words in your mouth that you say in public that you cannot take back if you say you beat her and somebody um, just to point this out i am not here in support of dr kemi i don't care about her in recent times she has put out things that i have been totally against but like i said i don't have to have an opinion about other people i don't have to stress myself with having an opinion and voicing it out no no, all I do is I just distance myself from people that I think that are not worthy to be around. I don't, would not say that I like Dr. Kemi. Okay, I used to like her. I used to see reasons in her work and everything. But there's something she did a few months back, you know, that really, really made me understand that, you know, something, something, something just wasn't right somewhere. But... I didn't come out to insult her. I didn't come out to do anything about her. So this is not me defending her. No, I would never in my life do that. So please, my people, I think all I'm just really pleading with all of us for is, you know, go back to the drawing board and um, fight for justice for what has hurt us or for what is hurting us. Thank you very much. I wish you all a beautiful evening. I've seen this play out in uh, Madame Princess's um, case where everybody was so hyped and fighting for the case and um, uh, eventually it turned us into a, a circus where uh, we were fighting, you know, making just for ourselves and, you know, throwing words that we shouldn't and um, uh, hurting ourselves with our words. And the truth is, after all of that happened, nobody really chased the case everybody became so hurt about what this other person said to me the attention was divided and um, 
we didn't win. And the same thing is happening again for Sylvester versus a 12 year old boy. Why are we fighting? If someone said something that it's wrong at this time that we're all grieving and you know, for me, I just say, ignore her, ignore it. If you say that you're going to beat up Dr. Kemi, just probably you're just saying it out of anger, but some other group of people will take it serious and do it on your behalf. And tomorrow they say, it's you that did it. They'll take advantage of your words that you have said online and they say, it's you that have, have done it. Let's really be careful. And especially, this is a sensitive matter that involves a 12-year-old boy. Please, I'm pleading with everybody. I mean, it's not every dog that backs that you stop and throw stones at. It just cuts your journey. It just gives you delay. There is no progress. We are supposed to be looking at the progress. We are supposed to be asking the CP, the, the commissioner of police, the police, the authorities, how far they have gone. The lawyers is speaking to the lawyers rather than coming online to fight. Please, please. I'm not saying ignore it and don't point out her wrong, but but don't 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 put it so much that the original case is being put behind the fight that we were fighting because we are fighting a good cause. It's 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 troubling. It's it gets troubling, you know. Please, I know that our emotions are everywhere. As a mom, I am hurt to the bones, and and I know that a lot of women and mothers out there are feeling Sylvester's pain and want all want justice for Sylvester. But I think that the right thing for us to do now is totally ignore Dr. Kemi. Wherever she got her information from, we do not know that. Just ignore what she has said because everybody has an opinion and she said her opinion. Yes, her opinion was not settling with everybody, but we'd never know where she got her, her information. <laughs>